Are you a Harry Potter fan like myself? Well if so, then these nails are perfect for you. Today I'm showing you how I achieved these Harry Potter Ravenclaw inspired nails. I'm starting out with a base of Sailor by Zoya, applying it to my middle nails only. I then painted the remaining nails white on white by China Glaze. Before I start any nail art, I like to apply a liquid latex barrier around all of my nails to protect my cuticles and to make cleanup a lot easier later on. My favorite to use is Lickety Split by Elegy Polish. Once the latex has dried, it's time to start stamping. I'm using Stamping Plate 28 by Hee Hee. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm starting out by doing the plaid stripes. For the first layer of stripes, I use a dark gray stamping polish. Due to the print, I have to scrape the polish in numerous directions to make sure the polish fills in the entire pattern. Using my Claire Stamper, I transfer the pattern onto my white nails, and I repeat this step on all of my white base nails. For the second plaid layer, I use Zoya's Sailor, and I repeat the same steps as before, onto all of my white nails. This is where having a clear stamper comes in handy, because you can easily line up the plaid to overlap correctly. Now it's time to make the Ravenclaw crest decal for my middle nail. I do this by applying a thin coat of a clear polish. I use one that isn't a fast drying polish, and I apply this onto my uber chic mat. My favorite clear polish to use is Invisible by Sally Hansen. Once the decal is fully dry, I stamp on the Ravenclaw crest and way to stamp it straight Cheyenne. <laughs> While the stamp is drying, I go around the edges with a Q-tip and acetone to remove any decal that I won't be using. This way, I don't have to do as much cutting before applying it to my nail. When the decal is fully dry, I carefully remove it from the mat using what I think is a cuticle pusher type tool I flip it upside down so I can do a little bit of reverse stamping with the inside of the crest. I wanted it to look similar to the plaid nails, so I painted blue stripes and added a white background. I waited about 10 minutes for it to dry and then trimmed the excess clear polish from around the crest. I applied a thin layer of the clear polish and carefully applied the decal to the nail. I use a dry q-tip to push the decal against the nail to try and remove any air bubbles and to seal the edges down. I seal it with a top coat and clean my cuticles using acetone and an angled brush. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more nail art videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.